In this video, we're going to calculate tax for an Australian resident taxpayer. Now, I have been onto the ATO website. I've downloaded the 2017 tax rates because we're still doing tax returns for the 2017 financial year. After 30 June 2018, we'll start doing the tax returns for the 2018 year. So at the moment, as far as we're concerned, we're looking at these rates for my clients. So accessible income, we're up here. Wages, do we pay tax on wages in Australia? The answer is yes, we do. If I have a rental property, will an Australian resident pay tax on a rental property? The answer is yes, that's in. That's in our accessible income. But what about a gift? If we have a gift of $200, will we pay tax on that? Maybe it's a birthday gift. What do you think? There's no tax on the birthday gift. So that is left out and our total assessable income is 85,000. Going down to our deductions, we have work related deductions for our wages, 15,000. And then we have rental deductions, which are the deductions that relate to our uh, rental property. That's 5,000. And therefore our total deductions are 20. Our taxable income is $65,000. Now my definition of taxable income. If you go to textbooks, they'll give you many complicated definitions. Wayne's definition here, it's what you pay tax on. It's that simple. Taxable income is how, or the number that we're going to use to calculate our tax. So let's let's um, have a look at that and we'll just get rid of this typo. So we expand this, we have our taxable income of 65,000 here. Where are we in this table? 65,000 is between 37 and 87. I think we all agree we're on this line right here. So we're going to follow this formula. And here we've done it. 65, we take off the previous threshold of 37,000 and we multiply by 32 and a half cents. We then add on the 3572 and that comes to 12672. I'm sure you would all agree that if we were earning 90,000, if our taxable income was 90,000, we'd be on this line and we would, using the same methodology, follow this formula. It's pretty straightforward. We can't forget the Medicare levy, that's 2% in the 2017 year, 65,000 by 2% is 1,300 and we add those two together. Now for the purposes of today in this exercise, we have ignored the rebates. But as you know, some of our students here have access to handy tax, and I'm going to show you how you would double check your calculations on handy tax. So we have set up a fake client in handy tax. If you don't know how to do this, we have a video that shows you how to do so on our YouTube channel. In the meantime, you will need to be able to do this for your assignment in any case. So if I was you, I'd check that out. So let's get started. We go into the main form and I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm going to click here and I'm going to enter 65,000. I'm just going to put the taxable income in there. I know I should really put in the various labels and the deductions, but we'll do that in another video anyway. So we'll just do that. And all we want to do now is check the refund or check how much we have to pay. That's effectively what we're trying to do. So we do that. And here comes our tax estimate. We have taxable income, 65,000, check. Tax-free threshold, that's good. The tax on taxable income, yep, that agrees back to our previous calculation in Excel. We know we have that right. The Medicare levy, 1,300, that's there. Remember I said we were ignoring the rebates? We do that later in the term. So that $25 for the minute, we're going to ignore it, but we'll come back to this later and we can come down here and you'll see the difference between our calculation and the calculation in handy tax is that $25. So if you want to do some calculations at home, put in some numbers to practice for your midterm exam, feel free to do so. Then you can come into handy tax, double check your answers and make sure that you're correct.